Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Plays Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I'm your host Lorefet. In this Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guide, I'll show everybody on how to defeat the Midgar Swarm on normal difficulty. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guides like this. Do not forget notification bell so be updated and much more. This guide's all about that big giant snake that is the boss of Chapter 2. I'll definitely go over the materia, the tactics, and what party members should have. So let's not waste any more time and go with that now. Okay, everyone, let's uh, go over right now what you need to have. Beforehand, I'm going to show you proof that this is our normal difficulty for the naysayers. And yeah, hard difficulty, you have to get that by beating the game. Anyways, uh, that's out of the way, so let's uh, go ahead and talk about this. Now, we have here the materia everybody should have. Fire, if you have, like, for example, the elemental absorption one, then, of course, link that together. That helps. Ice materia, it's very powerful. You definitely want that. You get to two for everyone, that's fine. One of them to two, that's all right. And other than that, yeah, make sure everybody has fire. My team I selected is Barrett, Tifa, and Cloud. Now, if you have issues, of course, uh, you know, receiving a lot more damage than you should, take out Tifa, put an Aerith in there. As for summons... Shiva, yeah, she's the one that's perfect for this. So let's go ahead and definitely start the fight. Now, uh, as Cloud try to block and counter the attacks, as always, try to assess the situation by scanning your foe. And watch out for a headbutt attack. There you uh, go. We're going to scan at this very moment. And voila, there we know its strengths and weaknesses now. It's on you. Well, Barrett said the magic word, tying the Bastion's head in. So aim for the head with magic. Like, for example, with the Blizzard magic spell, that's what we're going to do. And, yeah, we almost got it. And there you go. We just knocked its head. Now it's going to charge up an attack. Get back. <laughs> now, when Scorching Breath happens, uh, try move far as you can. I switched to Barrett. So this way my party members will take less damage. Barrett will take some da damage, but still, Barrett's our healer, so we're going to just have him heal if we need to, or other party members to attack as well. If you want to have Barrett do some damage, that's fine. So now the uh, head part's now gone. Try to rush to get to stagger mode. Take the lead. Oh. He'll be back. Stay sharp. I got this. It's on you. <laughs> so, now you're asking the question. This big, giant, cobra-looking boss decided to grab a party member. Like, for instance, Tifa. Well, just attack the head with blizzard magic. Anything that has, of course, ice damage, just go for the head. Simple as that. Enough damage. And then, of course, the party member will be set free. And let's end this asshole. It is about to charge up sooner or later. It's fire attacks. This is the time to definitely go ahead and attempt to stagger the boss. Blizzard magic it all the way. So there we uh, go. And it should be staggered at any moment. We're going to dodge the fire. Yeah, still uh, do that. Let's see who else uh, casts cast magic. We'll have uh, Barrett to uh, cure himself. And we're almost there. And uh, there we go. We're about to stagger. Okay. Once this happens... Use your summons, use your everything, use your limit breakers, use your highest ice magic. In this case with Tifa, I'm Brian Strength, then the triangle button, and you're on your way to victory. Copy. Uh. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get some final advice before I do end this video guide. So uh, first of all, you want to make sure you do you always scan the boss. This is the only time you get to scan said boss. And yeah, you know it's ice its weakness. Don't use fire, especially uh, when it does a special absorbs fire. It heals himself. Bad idea. I didn't mention it, but you should all know by now when you use this fire attack, you avoid using fire. Uh, another thing is, is uh, if your party member gets grabbed, use uh, anything that attacks the head, your abilities like Barrett has, or in case you have Aerithium party, that too, and or ice magic. Now, once the, the boss gets to the flamethrower mode, I call it, dodge move out of the way, gets to the fire tornado mode, quickly rush to stagger mode. So this way you stagger the boss, then you go all out on ice damage. This does include Shiva and team attacks as uh, well. This is it from my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, How to Defeat the Megar Swarm on Normal Difficulty video guide. This is Wolfhead signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy content just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Let's go ahead and put this monster on fire. That's that.